Good morning and welcome to Paul Barger's kombucha video. I have been doing a little bit of prep work today for some kombucha bottling and this is what I have. I have five bottles and diced apples and kiwi in each bottle. This is a little bit of my last batch that I have been drinking and it's very good. So I have never sweetened the kombucha in the second ferment. This time I am getting better and better at doing kombucha. I thought I would add some fruit to the bottling process. I didn't realize that you had to add some sugar when you bottle it for the second ferment. So I'm adding apples and kiwi so that I can get some bubbly. Um, I'm really enjoying doing uh, batches of kombucha. I have several going now. Now I have three kombucha big jugs going and um, I have one more that I need to fill. So that's four. I want to have some kombucha every day. So that's what I'm up to. So guys, this is my latest batch of kombucha. I'm giving it a nice stir. I've taken the mother out. I've taken, I've taken the scoby out. And uh, I'm giving it a nice stir before I start to bottle it in with the fruit. So here we go. Here we go. Some nice kombucha. Looks good. There we go. So some of the things that I've heard opposing theories on is that you want to fill your bottles all the way up to the neck. Uh, some people say that provides for more carbonation, but then I've heard other people say not to do that and to leave some room so that it has room to carbonate. Um, I don't know which is correct. I don't know if um, the full bottles carbonate more or if the space is needed to allow for more space. So. I'm going to fill these up and see how it goes, but it looks beautiful. Look at that. It looks gorgeous. Some nice, fresh, fresh, honey, crisp apples and kiwi in the bottle. It looks great. Uh, I love these little flip top bottles. They're available on Amazon. I'll put the link below in the description. Um, these are actually donated to me by seven gray from seven wonders the world. Thanks seven. Seven's given me six bottles, but he's only given me five so far because he has one that's still full of kombucha for him. Uh, I traded him some GT's bottles that I had that were empty that he's switching to so he could fit fruit more easily down the necks of the bottles. Um, so I have a little bit left. I, this batch is made for, um, for six bottles, so I have a little bit left. I'm going to pour it into a big GT's bottle that I have right here. Um, and make one that is ginger flavored. One big ginger flavored one. So I'm experimenting. This is all very, very cheap. All it takes is tea and sugar um, and then some fruit. So it's really cheap to do this and very healthy for you. And I am doing it on the road. Hashtag Van Life Scoby. If you're doing a perpetual kombucha with a nozzle, it's not as easy as it sounds because you do need to take it apart, clean the pieces of SCOBY out and particles that get stuck in your nozzle here, your spigot. And um, every batch you should clean it and kind of start over again by switching out your SCOBY, putting fresh tea in and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So uh, today my job is to clean this out, make some new tea for my scoby and get it back in here so it's feeling all nice and warm and fuzzy again this is my uh scoby the mother um it's been a couple brews now uh you can see there's a little piece missing out here because i cut it out to start my other kombucha but 
Um, I just wanted to show you what the SCOBY looks like on its own. Mine is doing very well. It is... See that piece missing? That's where I cut it to make another SCOBY. But it's doing very well. It's um, looking exactly the way it's supposed to. As you can see, I got a lot of kombucha. I got this big, huge 48-ounce uh, bottle filled with uh, my kombucha. Then I got five of these filled with apple and kiwi. So I have a really good amount to start with. This should be like a week's supply. I want to have about a bottle a day. Um, oh, maybe not quite that much. Maybe a little bit less. But I want to have it a lot. So that's why I'm brewing a lot. So... Uh, I'm kind of doing a fermentation on wheels thing. I'm making kombucha and I'm making um, fermented foods. I'm starting up a thing. This is going to be a thing now. Van Life Scoby. Look at this beautiful batch of booch. I have five flip top bottles, nice and full of kiwi and honey crisp apples. And then I have one gigantic 48 ounce. Uh, Rebottled in a GT's bottle, but this is my booch that I brewed and all I did was put about five medallions of ginger in it I want to see how fizzy I can get with five medallions of ginger uh, These bottles here are Already getting fizzy. I think I'm gonna have a very good carbonated batch this time, but uh, I'm excited. I got a lot of stuff today done. I got a lot of stuff done today and uh, I just got to uh, brew some more tea. That's all. I've been brewing a bunch of kombucha, and I've been doing it since I was at Slab City. I actually started brewing kombucha out at Slab City. And um, so it's been a while. I mean, that was early February. It is the end of March. So I have about maybe two months experience brewing kombucha now. And a lot of people have asked me to do a video about brewing kombucha and I didn't feel up to it because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm getting more experience and I'm starting to learn what's going on with the kombucha, um, but I don't really know what I'm doing. So I don't feel comfortable doing a video on kombucha when I don't even know how to do it myself. So I've been having a little bit of trouble getting my kombucha to carbonate. Once you put it in the bottles, it is supposed to carbonate. I didn't realize that you're supposed to add sugar in the carbonation process, the, the, the second ferment or the bottling process. They refer to it a lot of different ways as bottling, second ferment, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So this time I added kiwi and apple to my bottles. So that will give it enough sugar to feed on to create carbonation in a pressurized environment while taking it away from the SCOBY. So um, let me show you a bottle. I just bottled this and I opened the lid and it fizzed up. So I think I'm going to have a really, really carbonated beverage when I'm done. This is day one. It's only been in there less than an hour. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm just going to pop the bottle on these two bottles here and just watch the carbonation already as I pop it open. Look at that. You see it? You see it bubbling up already? I'll be quiet on the next one. See if the next one you can actually hear. Ready? You see, you see that? And it popped up, and now it's fizzing. Um, yeah, that's really good news. Um, I think this is going to be a really, really nice batch. I'm very proud of what I accomplished today. I got a big, huge batch of kombucha done. I'm going to brew some more tea to add to my SCOBY to get another batch going. That will make three, three full one-gallon batches. I got a lot of booch going on. A whole lot of booch. Ow! Ow!